Hello, Gemini. This is Dee, and this is the Metaphysical Moonlighters YouTube channel. And this is going to be your December 2018 tarot reading. I'm actually using some oracle cards this month. Also, I want to let you know that my book is now available on Amazon. It is The title is 2019 Horoscope for All Signs by Astrology. Astrology is my pen name. So if you do a search on Amazon, if you just type in Astrology, the book will come up. And I definitely appreciate you purchasing the book. And for everyone who has purchased the book already, I definitely thank you so much. And so this month we are doing an astrological spread. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to like this video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel also. Okay, Gemini, so let's start with house one. House one is all about your personality. It's about your demeanor, your outlook on life, and you have the receptive card. So what I'm going to do is pull over each card, and then I'll get into the reading. House two, you have the splitting apart card. House three, you have obstacles, the obstacles card. House four, you have the great power card. House five, you have decrease, the decrease card. House six, you have before completion. House seven, which can deal with your partnerships, you have the completion card. House eight, which can deal with your transformation, you have the creative card. House nine, which can deal with long distance travel, you have the waiting card. House 10, which can deal with your career. You have the marrying maiden. House 11, which can deal with your friendships. You have the darkening of the light. And house 12, which can deal with your spirituality. You have pushing upward. The pushing upward card. Just uh, straighten these out for a minute. Okay, so now let's see what your overall message is for this month. You have the seer card. It says, see beyond the current situation, Gemini. Okay, so let's get into the reading. We're going to start off with house one. Okay, so as far as your personality, your demeanor, um, your outlook on life, you have the receptive card, and this is all about um, the fact that this month in December, Gemini, you will be a very patient person. You will be supportive, um, and you will be very intuitive this month also. So that's really great. Let's keep moving on. Let's look at what's going on in your material possessions area because you have the splitting apart card. So for some Geminis out there this month, um, you will be releasing your old ways of handling your finances. So if there's something that has not been working for you in your finances, in the way you handle your finances, you will be eliminating that this month. Okay. It's like some of you are going to realize that some way or, you know, some, some type of habit that you have related to your finances, some of you are going to realize that it's not working. So you're going to release that old habit and probably find something else that works better for you. So that's what's going on in your material possessions this month, Gemini. This splitting apart card is all about separation. It's about deterioration. It's about eliminating the old. It's about letting go of old habits. Okay? So you, this is something you can look forward to because this is going to be a positive change for a lot of Geminis. Now let's move on to see what's going on in house three. You have the obstacles card. Okay? So... Some Geminis this month are going to be faced with some type of difficult communication. 
this month. Uh, it might be a bit of a struggle with someone as far as um, having an exchange of words. And it might leave you feeling frustrated this month. So watch out for your communications with, with others. Okay, try to stay away from any type of uh, communication or conversation that feels that feels like a struggle for you. Okay, and stay away from negative people that um, maybe you there's someone in your circle of friends or family who always just seem like they want to discourage you. Try to stay away from that this month. Okay, if you feel it coming on. Just, you know, walk away, find something else to do, go somewhere else. So that's something else to watch out for this month. Now, let's see what's going on in your home and your family life. You have the great power card. So this is a great card to have in your home and your family life. Okay. Because it's all about leadership, self-confidence, having influence. So it looks like everything is going great in your home and your family life, Gemini, at least for most Geminis this month. Okay, let's move on to house five. House five is the fun house. Okay, you have the decrease card. So a lot of you Geminis are going to be cutting back on... Um, Maybe the way, you know, your, your creativity, the amount of fun that you're having. A lot of you are going to be cutting back this month. Um, some of you are going to realize that less is more this month. Okay. So this is good for you. Now, let's see what's going on in your daily routine or your health area. You have the before completion card. So this says that on a daily basis, you will be very cautious this month. Okay, you will be very cautious. And the before completion card, it talks about being very cautious. It talks about hesitation. It can also talk about uncertainty. So maybe you will be faced with something that's going to leave you feeling a little bit doubtful during your daily routine, which is going to have you... Um, acting in a very cautious manner on a daily basis this month, Gemini. Okay. Now let's see what's going on in your partnership area because you have the completion card. This is a great card to have in your partnership area because it's all about um, attainment. It's about victory. It's about um, perfection. So a lot of you Geminis are feeling very satisfied in your partnerships this month. Okay, whether it's business partnerships or romantic partnerships. So let's see what's going on in your transformation area. You have the creative card. Okay, so when it comes to your transformation this month, a lot of you will be exhibiting strength and tenacity in seeing your transformation happen. So that's good. Now, let's see what's going on in house nine because you have the waiting card. Now, the waiting card can just be talking about um, leaving well enough alone. So when it comes to legal matters or dealing with higher education, uh, you don't you don't really a lot of you don't have too much going on in that area this month. You have the waiting card. So let's move on to your career. Now, in your career, you have the marrying maiden, Gemini. So some of you need to watch out for being in a compromising situation on the job this month, okay? And this could also point to manipulation. So a lot of you Geminis need to watch out for manipulation on the job, whether you are manipulating someone or someone might be trying to manipulate you. Watch out for that on your job this month, Gemini, okay? Let's look at what's going on in your friendships. You have the darkening of the light card. Okay, so the darkening of the light card can talk about caution and moderation. So when it comes to your friends this month, Gemini, some of you Geminis out there, you will have to maintain a low profile with your friends. Um, maybe this is where 
the obstacles card is coming from. Um, so just watch out for that. Um, when you're dealing with your friends this month, make sure you handle them with caution and moderation. Because there could be someone in your circle of friends that might be that might want to kind of get into an argument with you this month, Gemini. Remember, this is a general reading. So some of the reading will resonate with you. Some of it, you know, might not resonate with you. But if it doesn't resonate with you, just don't think about it too much, okay? But just know that this is possible, okay? Now, let's see what's going on in House 12. You have the Pushing Upward card. Now, House 12 can deal with secrets. It can deal with spirituality. So the Pushing Upward card is a good card to have because it talks about steady progress. So that's good for you. Let's get into this Seer card. Okay. The message on this card, it says, See beyond the current situation. Remember that. Remember that this month. This is your overall message. See beyond the current situation. Okay. So I'm just going to read a little bit from the book that the card came with. It says, look beyond your current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. Okay. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough. Create your best fortune. Okay. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you're in a you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving forward. Sorry, you are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. So that's your overall message for this month, Gemini. See beyond your current situation. Okay? No matter what is going on this month, whatever you're dealing with in your finances, whatever type of um, communication struggle you might have this month, um, the caution you have to exhibit when dealing with your friends this month, whatever you're going through this month, also on your job. If you have, if you're dealing with any type of manipulation on your job, see beyond the current situation. Okay. So just remember that this month, but this has been your December, 2018 reading. And again, this is D with metaphysical moonlighters. If you need a personal reading, you can contact me at metaphysicalmoonlighters.com. And um, until next month, Gemini, have a great month.